What is going on guys? This is Exciter here and welcome back to my channel guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Kenworth K100 uh, Aerodyne. It was released last night actually it, when I was in the middle of making my video uh, that went up yesterday. I do apologize for it going up so late, um, but it's just the way that it is. I'm um, going to go over some of the, I guess, changes or what, not really changes, but about this truck. Uh, you Obviously you could buy it at the Kenworth dealership. Uh, adaption to 1.5.x, I'm on 1.5.3. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, a lot of fixes on 3D model, uh, reduced 3D model weight uh, for more FPS. Added custom license plate option, uh, it's in, and then this is in parentheses, uh, edit file, vehicle slash truck slash custom slash plate dot DDS uh, to have a custom license plate. This is actually down here, but you have to go and edit it yourself. Clean game log, no warnings, uh, SI, SL, Mega Pack add-on available. I will add a link in the description below. I do not have it in, uh, but I will have it in the description below. Um, and then the person said, uh, and some other things, they sure they forgot. Uh, there's a lot of credits. Uh, I'm just going to name just a few, uh, but I will put everyone in the description below. Uh, Cyrus the Virus, uh, Soros, 3, or Soros 36, sorry about that. Uh, Ivan, uh, Dimitri68, SCS, uh, let's see what else, Skins by Skinner, uh, Polly, uh, apparently Junior Senior is also here as well, uh, that helped with that, uh, let's see what else, Sounds by Creechbum and, and Oddfellow, so those are just some of the few, uh, oh, and Interior Textures by Rodu, uh, R-O-U-D-O-U, -O -O I guess I pronounced that wrong, I'm sorry, but, so those are the, uh, all the credits that I, you know, just I just named a few of them. There's a bunch of them, uh, but I will add them all in the description below. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's get into this mod review. So we start out. We go to the cabin. Now it does come standard with the Aerodyne, as you guys can see here, uh, or we have a standard cab there. Now I will show you the chassis options for both. So here's the standard six by four short. And then we have the four by two super short. This is even shorter than that. And if we go back to the Aerodyne, and we go back to the chassis, we have a 6x4 long frame, which actually has this humongous sleeper on it. Um, honestly, I don't know if they did such a great job of doing this, because it looks like it was just copy and pasted, uh, to be honest, because it still has the steps and right there, and they should be back here. Uh, it, just, it honestly just looks like this was just flipped around. But it is what it is. I can't do nothing about that. I just wanted to give my personal opinion about that. Uh, but we will do the, the Aerodyne. Let's do the normal 6x4 long uh, there. Over to engines. Uh, we do have a quite a bit of selection. We only have, not well, not a whole lot. But we have a few to choose from. So we have the DD uh, S92 V8 400. The DD S92 V8 450. And the DD S92 V8 500. We have the CAT 3406C350, the CAT 3406B400, the CAT 3406-475, the CAT 3406E550, I'm sorry guys, I can't talk today, and the CAT 3406E600. Uh, just for you know the hell of it, I'm going to just go with the CAT 3406E600. There isn't a whole lot to choose from. So you got these five, and then you have that. So you got eight engines total. Over to transmissions, we only have four to choose from. So you do have your Eaton Fuller FS six speed, Eaton Fuller FRW ten speed. Uh, we have the Eaton Fuller RTLO thirteen speed, and then the Eaton Fuller RTLO eighteen speed. We're gonna go with the eighteen speed for today, as I normally would do anyway. Uh, so there's that. Moving over to the interior. Now we have two different two different interiors. We have the Aerodyne, or excuse me, standard. And then we have the Aerodyne custom. To be honest, I really do not like this. Uh, I just don't like the color that the uh, excuse me that the panels are. You know, with the the stitching and everything. I, I just I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. So I'll just leave it on the standard like that. The interior is nicely done. Um, I know there's a couple animations that I saw, uh, such as the key starting, which is nice. I uh, wish that these other gauges, well not gauges, but knobs actually did something, but from what I noticed that they didn't, but uh, 
moving on to the paint so we have custom color which we'll take a look at here you can see that it works we have the custom metallic color which we'll check to make sure that all works which that does second one there we go you can see that that all works and we'll check out the last one as you can see it's a little hard to see up here that it does work uh, then we have GMT transport which is nicely done nice Kenworth outlaws we have act 2 popcorn so if you wanted to have a popcorn truck you could do so I personally don't care for that we have the American flag there we have the bicentennial VIT 200 so it's 200th year anniversary edition of the United States we have the Billy Joe McKay skin there. We have clouds, which isn't too bad. We have Conrad Shada Trucking Incorporated, not too bad. We have Deception, or, or I'm sorry, Decepticon. I'm sorry about that. We have Hills Department Store. We have Market Basket. Of the U.S. Air Force, come fly with me on there. We have the U.S. Army, join the Army, and we have the U.S. Navy. Uh, we have Optimus Prime. See, there it's just all red with the Optimus Prime logo. And we have Southern Pride. And we have the Red Baron. And then we have White and Red, which is that there. Which I don't believe we could change that, no. So, um, so those are all, that's everything. I'm going to go with the GMT Transport, uh, just because it's Kenworth. Uh, it says it on the side. And it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. So, we'll leave it at that. Over to the accessories now. I thought that there was going to be a lot of accessories, but there isn't a whole, whole lot. Um, Granted, I guess the truck just—I know it's not—it's been out before, um, but there isn't really too much with it. So we'll just look over everything. So we have the exhaust back here. We have the default. We have curve. We have double. We have triple, and then we have quad. So I mean, really, no need for that at all, to be honest. Uh, so I would recommend either going with the default or with the curve. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on default. These two here are just for the wings. So you could either have a painted wing. Like go, that one's black. Or a chrome wing. Like so. Over here we have a beacon. Which we have a bonfire beacon. Which is actually a pretty unique beacon. I'll put the light on there. You guys can see that. So it's pretty neat. You know, it's just a single little beacon there on a stand thought that was just something pretty cool so we'll leave that on uh, down here we have the interior light so we have blue light green light uh, a light blue light orange light red light a white light and a yellow light uh, I'll go with the blue one since we do have a blue skin on the truck down here we have uh, horns so we have horn one technically which actually you could actually just have uh, well, I said that twice. You could have the horn or lumen chrome if you decide to go with that. But I think it just looks better with the horn, so we'll just leave it on the horn. Over here we have horn three, which is the other side of the you know the cab that cut out the other horn on there. They do stick out a little far, but it is what it is. And then you have the lumen chrome over there as well, which does work. But we'll leave that on the horn. Moving on to the sun visor, we have two different ones to choose from. We have paint, and then we do have chrome. Uh, I'm going to put it on paint just real quick, uh, and we'll go back over to paint jobs, and I will show you something like the yellow. We could even pick a different color like this. Uh, let's see here. As you can see, that the truck is a little darker than the visor itself. I mean, it's not really too noticeable. But you can see it doesn't want to change color too accordingly. It does, but it seems like it gets brighter. 
than the rest of the truck. It's just maybe my eyes. I don't know. But I did want to point that out there if anyone else had any issues with that. We'll go back into here. And we will change that out to the chrome. On the side here we have main mirrors. So we do have the standard mirrors there. Then we have the standard with antenna. We have the double mirrors. And we have the double with antenna. So those are all the mirrors you could choose from there. Down here we do have the GPS is, uh, that we will look at on the inside. Over here we have a, a parrot, which is uh, I guess the answer and hang up calls. That's also on the inside, so we'll worry about that whenever we get inside. Uh, down here we have bumpers, so we have five different bumpers. So we have paint, we have chrome, which is the same as the first one, but it's just chrome. Uh, then we have another chrome one, which is like that, where you could add your own lights. We have chrome with grill, which is really chrome with a bull bar. And then we have aluminum, which is looks like chrome with another different bull bar. Uh, I'm just going to go with the normal chrome. Uh, well, actually, the second chrome. We'll go with that one. Uh, we can add our own lights on here. Now, I still do have the uh, Freightliner Century in, and I know that it does come with like special lights like this. So, uh, But I'm just going to leave... Actually, put just normal lights on here. Uh, let's see. We'll just do that. Yeah, we'll just do that. Put the multi LED, multi LED oranges on there, just like that. And we'll take a look at that real quick. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Moving on to the side uh, with wheels. There's nothing really too special. Uh, but I did test this out before, and I do like the way that the Fred Chrome, if you do not have them, you can get them off the Steam Workshop. Uh, I, just, I do like the way that they do look on this truck, so we will put these on here, like so. Uh, it's always hard trying to find this one. There we go. So we'll do that there. Uh, on to the side, there's nothing really to do. Uh, over here we do have bed which is on the inside so we'll, we could actually look at that once we get on the inside uh, then we do have fender which we only have two we have fender paint which is black which whatever color the truck that you would choose would be the paint color and then we have whoop and we have fender chrome which, there, which actually looks very nice can't do anything to the back unfortunately um, so we are stuck with having that back here. Now, I will say if you do the the standard, it will have a different back to it, like so. I uh, just wanted to point that out there. And uh, actually, while we're here, I might as well, eh, you know what, we'll actually go with this one. I do like the way that this one, I mean, I like the way that they both look, but I don't know, it's just something about this one, just a little different than the other one. Now, you can still have, uh, Oh, not the beacon. Not the horn. Where is it at? The wings. Here we go. So we have the wings on here. We have the wings easy. And then we have the wings paint. Like so. So you have those two to choose from. But I'm going to actually just take them both off. Like so. Still nothing's changed with the exhaust. Uh, we'll put the same visor on like that. Now I'm not sure what this green and red light is up here. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, I guess maybe it's good to save the pass on this side but not this side. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Uh, on the side here we do have tank lights which you can add tank lights on too which are pretty neat. Uh, over here as well we have the fender again so we have the fender paint and then we have fender chrome short like so. I'm just going to go with the paint just to cover up that wheel. And we have side skirts, which we have full protection side skirts, which look like that. Uh, but since we do have the tank lights on, I will just take that off. Go back to painting this again. We'll just put it back to this. And we'll change out the wheels themselves. We'll put these as the Freds, like so. Do this real quick. Try to get to this 
through this as quickly as I possibly can so you guys can enjoy the rest of the video. Here we go. here and we'll go over here there we go all right so there we go I got everything changed out now I will notice if you guys can see it's a little hard to see but um, the lights on here are, are quite dim so I don't know why that is these are custom lights so obviously they're gonna be bright but the standard stock lights that come with the truck they are a bit on the the dim side so I will have to say that they do need to be fixed and later on you know updated so we'll confirm this trade it in right. all right we'll skip that get rid of that look on the outside here bit of lag but it's okay and we'll start it up. Alright so we got the parking lights. We got the headlights. So you can see that the headlights aren't even that bright. Uh, same with the parking lights. They're not even that bright. Um, then we do the high beams. You can see the high beams are actually brighter than the actual headlights. So well they normally are but the headlights aren't even lit. So I'm not sure you know, that just has to be fixed later on. Left turn signal. You can see it works on the back side as well. Works over here. Got the right hand turn signal. Works there, works there, and works there. Got the wipers. So setting one. Maybe that's all the settings. We'll go back on the inside. Yep, so it seems like there's only one setting. So there's that. Do the beacon again. Let's see the beacon up there. Do the horn. Do the air horn. So wait, those are the two different horns. Uh, yeah, so pretty much that's everything. Uh, you know, I wish the tanks were actually chrome and not aluminum like that, but it is what it is. It's alright. Uh, so, you guys already know the usual, we will go down the road, come back, let you guys hear the sounds. Uh, it was a little on the shorter side of a video, um, but it wasn't really much to this truck, just wanted to get it out there for you guys, because I know a lot of people like the Kenworth, uh, especially the K100 and K200 uh, cab overs. So, we will uh, go down the road there, and we'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts. I did forget a couple of things. Uh, I forgot the interior. <laughs> um, so we'll look at that real quick. I know I should have did that before we uh, before we left, but sorry about that. So we'll just do that now while we're here. I'll do this real quick. So back here we do have 
bed options, so we have bed blue, we have bed cars, we have bed flowers, and then we have bed with sport bags. You can have that like that. Uh, I'll just probably leave that on there as it is. I believe these are the main mirrors. Yes. Over here we have the GPS. So we have the GPS Mio, the GPS Lexan, GPS TomTom, Tom, and then the GPS TomTom Tom Pro. Uh, I'll probably just go with the TomTom Tom Pro. Down here we have the Parrot. Once again, that is the cell phone thing. You know, if you get a call through Bluetooth, you could just answer it off of that uh, and hang up off of that without actually picking up your phone. And then over here we have a onboard computer, which will tell you what gear you're in, um, the speed and everything. So that is pretty neat. Other than that, that is pretty much it. So we will confirm that. Uh, I do apologize once again, guys, for that. Uh, so we'll turn the truck on here. You see that over there. It's beacon again. Get rid of that. So it will tell you what gear you're in, how fast you're going distance you've traveled so far in the truck so let's drive around the parking lot real quick good luck trying to do this in a standard cab truck or long hood truck as most Europeans would say or call it. Alright guys, so this was the Kenworth K100 from uh, Cyrus the Virus. Uh, once again, there's a bunch of other people but mainly it was him. Uh, now, uh, I will say that from the comments that I read where I got this from uh, on ATS mods, um, comments said that this person does work with uh, TAM and you know, they, apparently they did mess up Vipers 389. Personally, I think they did. Uh, so apparently this is also someone else's uh, that they got a hold of as well. I don't know if they got permission or not. Um, and from the comment that I read, now this isn't my opinion, but from the comment that I read, they're saying we'll see how long it takes until they mess up this truck. I'm just putting it out there. So hopefully someone will actually, you know, reach out to these people. I don't know. I'm just giving you guys what I'm, you know, what I saw. You know, you guys will see the same. So uh, other than that, you know, I, the long chassis you know with the big the big sleeper on it i don't really care for that i honestly think that that was just too much yes there are kenworths that are like that in real life but the way they did it they just duplicated it they didn't actually put any effort into really making it look like it was one big sleeper i mean you could tell that it was just copy and pasted so i guess that's what they're you know the comment that says we'll see how long it takes till they mess it up well if that was their doing i'm putting that bigger sleeper in the game or in the truck well then there you go I guess it stands by itself so but I'm just giving you my word and what I've you know what I saw uh, I mean other than that it's still a good truck uh, personally I'd still drive it uh, like I said a lot of people do crave about this kind of a truck and the Kenworth K200 as well uh, once again I will leave a link in the description for the truck I know last video uh, I forgot to do that, but that is now updated. There is a link in the description for the Freightliner Century. Uh, also, in the description of this video will be the DLC add-ons for this truck. Once again, I do not have them in, but I will add them, or the add the link in the description below for you guys, so you can go ahead and put that in and do whatever you guys want to do to that. Uh, but other than that, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a thumbs up if you did like it. I comment if you do have to say anything. Um, so, you know, and subscribe if you are new. Uh, also, too, in the last video, uh, two people commented on my video saying that it was nice, uh, you know, nice video. But YouTube reported it as spam. But the one had like 900 subscri uh, subscribers, and the other one had like 17,000. So I don't know if it was. It wouldn't let me approve it or not. So I couldn't do anything about that. 
Uh, but if you guys do end up seeing this video, uh, yeah, I appreciate it a lot. I just couldn't reply back to you guys because YouTube said it was spam. I don't know why, but I was able to reply to another one, but I, I couldn't reply to those two. So I do apologize for that. It's not my problem, but hopefully YouTube will fix that and won't do it for this video or any others down the road. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, once again, this has been x here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.